Saludos a toda la afición de la Lucha Libre Este que les habla es Michael Morales Torres Integrante de Lucha Libre Online Y me encuentro aquí en directo desde el Mario Quijote Morales En Guaynabo, en donde Edwin Vázquez Ortega Hugo Sabinovich y Wrestling Superstar Estarán presentando esta noche Fight Forever, tributo a Brett the Hitman Hart Y mi invitado Puedes entrar, ya que estamos aquí, puedes saludarlo ¿no? Estamos en ley, estamos en ley El Mesías está aquí con nosotros My guest at this time is none other than the excellence of execution, the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, and probably, I think, top two, top three wrestlers all around the world is on that Mount Rushmore list. Brett the Hitman Hart, sir, it's really an honor to have you as our guest. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. It's amazing. You were here with over 300 fans in the meet and greet. People came from all the world to see you. Mexico, Canada, US. We have a guy from the UK also and all around from Puerto Rico. How does it feel to you, for you being back in Puerto Rico? You know, it's, it's been really special coming here, uh, seeing a lot, of, a lot of old faces, a lot of friends. So got to see Savio Vega and seeing Hugo and seeing... Uh, Uh, the per the Peron brothers and uh, Barabbas, uh, all guys that uh, worked for me, worked for my dad up in Canada, and I have so many different memories with those guys that go back so far, like when I was just a skinny kid up in Canada. But I, um, I, I love those guys. They were always. I have so much respect for the Puerto Rican wrestlers and the wrestlers that I worked with through my career. They're always um, the best guys to have on your side, and uh, always professionals in the ring. Um, I I, um, I learned so much coming to Puerto Rico when I first started. Like I really learned wrestling. I learned. I mostly learned how to fall, how to protect myself, and how not to injure my opponent. I took maybe six months wrestling training. I had two matches, and all of a sudden I was on an airplane and I was in Puerto Rico. And uh, you know that there's a lot more to wrestling than learning how to tie up and how to fall. And um, I learned so much in the three months that I was in Puerto Rico. I learned so much that, that pushed me when I got to Canada, that helped me become a bigger star. Every, I think I learned so much in those first three months in Puerto Rico that, uh, that I was able to keep going on in wrestling. And I never really, never really gave up on my, uh, my, my career because I, I think what I learned in Puerto Rico more than anything was I learned to believe in myself. And uh, so I coming back here is, uh, I remember being a kid that didn't necessarily believe in himself, didn't think I was going to be a wrestler. I didn't even know if I wanted to be a wrestler. And then when I left Puerto Rico, I was a guy that wanted to be a wrestler. And I was going to, I made a promise to myself, I swear this is true, on the, uh, I used to go out on the rocks out in the ocean out here, uh, off the beach, and sit on the rocks. And I, I remember looking up in the sky and telling myself that it, I don't want to just be a wrestler. I want to be the greatest wrestler of all time. I want to be the best wrestler. I want to be a world champion. I'm going to wrestle for all the different territories and I'm going to be a champion. I'm going to make my father proud. I remember making this sort of promise to myself, which I had no reason to, no, no, there's no reason for me to have made this kind of promise to myself because it was nothing, nothing in my future that, that made it seem like that was ever going to happen. But. I, I got my confidence here in Puerto Rico and uh, coming back here today and uh, just connecting with some of the my old fa the old faces and, and 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 the fans. I love seeing my fans and uh, I always got a lot of great fans here in Puerto Rico. I, I've only been here uh, one time since uh, I was here in 2006, where I had another very very uh, significant meeting with a lot of fans and it was very special. But this is a, uh, a tribute night for me is uh, a big honor. It's amazing, sir. It's an honor for us to have you here in Puerto Rico. You are a two-time WWE Hall of Famer. You've been recognized all over the world. And the country that saw your career rise, that, that was part of that uh, way of building Brett the Hitman Hart, the future Brett the Hitman Hart, is today honoring you as part of their country, as part of their culture. How does this feel for you? I mean, the country that you once received you, the country where you uh, clarify so many doubts, today is the country that is saying, thank you, Brett. Well, I think a little bit, like Puerto Rico has gone through some tough times the last three years, two, three years with the hurricane. And, and you know, I, I, 
I had my own battles with cancer. I've had a stroke. You know, I, it's 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 nice that uh, that we're all here today. You know, we think life could be a lot worse, and uh, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to connect with fans that that love me and have a respect for me. And uh, I'm just a kid from Canada, but I I, I, I I know respect and love when I see it, and I, I saw it here many years ago. And uh, you know, I had great memories when I started my career with my my oldest brother Smith who died about two, two years ago from, from prostate cancer. And, you know, life is short sometimes, and uh, you got to make the best of it. And I, I, I make the best of all the memories that I have with wrestlers that are here, that my brother that just that has passed away, and, and just, you know, I just look at, look at life and say, I, I want to live it, and I want to enjoy it, and I want to I be part of it, you know. It's amazing, sir. It's been an honor to have you as our guest. To all the fans that are listening to you out there that wants to follow the same pathway that once spread the Hitman heart had to build to become a pro wrestler, what advice do you have for them? Well, you got to get all my old matches on a videotape and watch them over and over and over and over, and you'll be in good, in good hands. Perfect, sir. It's been an honor to have you as our guest. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Press Brett the Hitman Hart tonight being honored in Puerto Rico for the first time. We'll keep it up with you. Seguimos con.